Hello everybody and I hope you're trying to keep active do it during lockdown. This is uh, a little challenge that we've created, uh, me and some of the junior coaches at the hockey club and it's called Febhead and basically head stands for hockey every day and the challenge is to do some hockey every day in February and you have to get sponsored by your parents and anybody else that you know to people who've got money um to do the challenge you have to do hockey every day for the month of february which has 28 days and you should get sponsored for every day that you do so this is the first hockey every day challenge so this is this is isla she's she's helping me with the hockey challenge and she's going to be filming the first challenge and she looks, she's got her sound assistant, uh, Flo the dog, who might start barking and has her own ball. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Isla and she's going to film the challenge. OK, so this is this is the challenge. Look, we've got lots of different balls. OK, so what we're going to do is you're going to get yourself some um, cans of beans. Come with me, Isla. Come with me. Come with me. We've got cans of tomatoes inside here, so we're going to use these. And we're going to place them as far apart as a stick, like that, okay? So now what we're going to do is, you have to do a hundred dribbles, okay? Um, and it has to be as wide as the can of beans. So you have to do there, to there, to there, to there. Now if you only have to do it like, if you do it like that, that's fine, you can do it that way, but if you can make it go like this, all the way across, that's even better. And that's challenge one, and you have to do a hundred of those. The next time you do it, you might want to use a different ball. So you're going to use a tennis ball and see what the difference is with the tennis ball. The next time you want to do it, this is Flo's favourite ball, look, she's very jealous about it. <laughs> you might want to use a dog ball, which is like a rubber ball. Or you can use it, look, she's got it now, you can use a golf ball. If you haven't got a golf ball, you can use a ping pong ball or any kind of ball, or even a basketball. And do a hundred dribbles using that basketball. Pause. So now we've come into the kitchen. So the next time you do the challenge, you might decide we're going to do it on a different surface. So we're now on a slippier surface. So we're going to see what it's like to do our dribbles on this slippier surface, right? The next time you do it, you're going to use a tennis ball again. See how many times you can do it? You've got to do a hundred. Try and do it without ever missing the ball if you can. Maybe you're going to use a basketball inside this area. And pause. So, so now we're going to come out onto the patio, okay? Or you can go on the driveway or wherever you want to go. But you have a different surface each day. So, tennis ball, 100 dribbles. Try and make it as clean as you can without trying to make any mistakes like I'm doing right now because I haven't practiced for ages. Also, we can use a hockey ball. Look at that, I'm not even practicing. And it's harder to do with a hockey ball when you've been using a tennis ball. The hockey ball's heavier. And we can use our golf ball again. Now I'm here, it's gonna really bounce this golf ball, so you've gotta be really careful about how you do it. And so now we're in the garden, and you can see here, this is um, the end of our snowman, who's obviously now demised. All we can see left <laughs> is his little nose. Well, it's a big nose. Anyway, we're back here, we're in the garden, we're on the grass. Now, the grass is going to be quite hard because it's depending how long your grass is. And I obviously have cut mine because I'm really good at cutting my grass. Since when was did that happen, Dad? <laughs> Don't be cheeky. Either. Right, so you've got to do dribbling. Again, different ball each time. I'm going to use the basketball this time now, which is even harder. Look at that, going working really hard to get it across. So there you go. That's the big challenge. A hundred per day for 28 days and we're going to send some new challenges through that you can do as well but for the first week that is your challenge every day has to be different a different ball a different surface whatever hallway lounge bedroom garden driveway wherever but each day has to be either a different ball or a different surface or a different ball and a different surface because we don't want it to be the same every day we want to have different style because that's how you get more skillful so here we are with Isla, she's going to have a go. She's already measured out her uh, bean cans. She hasn't had very much practice, so she's, she might get it wrong, but that's okay, getting it wrong is cool, because that's how we learn, right? Because what does fail stand for, Isla? 
first attempt in learning. You, you know, told me that. definitely did. Anyway, so her stick's smaller than mine. Um, look, you can see it's quite a lot smaller. So her distance is smaller. So she's measured it out. Get your stick then, Isla. Which ball are you going to choose to do this practice with? Tennis ball. Okay, are you ready? And. Oh, wait. I'm used to it. That's it. Yeah, good. Well done. Change your grip so that you can. How do you how do you look at you? How do you look at it? So that you can see your time if you're wearing a watch because you're not wearing a watch. But if you were wearing a watch, you could tell the time. Right. Well done. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So here we go. Right. Let's see how many we can do. Off we go. Go. Well done. Good work. Keep going. Wide as you can. Good dribbling. There you go. Now you make a mistake. She's done eight. That's okay. You just start again and again. Good. Well done. Keep going. Keep going. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Stop there, Isla. Well done. Now, the thing to remember with this, the thing to remember with this, everybody, is it might be quite tiring, especially if you're an under 10 like Isla is. So you can just do it in little batches. So do 10 at a time until eventually you've done 100. But it's not going to be easy. It's a challenge. And that's what you're getting sponsored by. But you've got to add up to 100 every day all the way through February. What do you reckon, Isla? I think that I'm going to make it. But you need a bit of practice, right? Yeah. Okay. But by the end of this, you're going to be like the world's worst super dribbler. Best, sorry, best super dribbler. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so best of luck, everybody. See you soon.